you guys welcome back to another video i'm going to be putting on a hks wall so to the wrx got this one used but it'll be fine um it's already got the adapter for a subaru so <coughs> Uh, it didn't come with the little plug for the return hose, so I went to Home Depot and hopefully this will fit, but we'll see. We'll make it a bit. So, it's just these couple of 12 mils, I believe. And see what else we need, but let's start with that. Let's pop these off. Okay. And then I'm gonna get to that clamp down there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's one of those styles that actually locks in place too, which is nice. It's really in there. Okay, so I guess just wiggling it's the best way. Now, okay, that's a little bit smaller than what I grabbed. So, this was a one inch cap. So, I mean, it'll probably work, but. If you were doing this, I'd probably get like a one and a quarter inch. They just didn't have that at the the store, so. Let's see, is that? It's a little loose, so. I might have something else I can put in there. All right, guys. This is what I've come up with. So, just wrap some electrical tape around it. It's in there. Nice and snug, so that'll work. I'm probably gonna, I don't know if I trust that one on there, this clamp. I might just put a regular hose clamp on it. I don't know if it's gonna be tight enough since this isn't uh, as tight as the factory one. So press it in there, dude. There. All right, guys, so I got, uh, got that in, first of all. Hose clamp on there. Uh, in the future, I'll probably, I'm going to probably change out this eBay uh, silicone inlet at some point, but um, for now it's fine. But when I do, I'll probably stick a plug actually just down in there so that there's not just a random hose that's not needed. But here is, I'm in comparison. Uh, just wanted to make sure the holes are all in the right place, which they are. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so something I'm noticing now is that this would probably work. I mean, it would seal, but um, I have gasket material, so I'm just going to make one. But keep that in mind if you guys don't have this gasket as well. Um, yeah. There. And then. It's okay. Just, uh, tear it off and see how you did. That'll work. So it's about an hour later because my intercooler stripped out. Um, so I had to drill and tap a hole and then the head was too big so I had to grind down that bolt enough for that to clear. 
because of course it couldn't just be this sad. If this one stripped out, it would be easy. You just drill and tap it, put a new bolt in. This one, it doesn't clear these bolts, so it was a pain in the ass, but get a new vacuum line because the other one was a little short. So, this is our test sound here. I haven't heard it yet, so let's see. 